Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is Clocks Part 2. So in the first part of Clocks, we dealt with the basic concepts of Clocks and a simple problem following to it. Today, we will be solving few more questions on the topic Clocks. Let's get started. So the first question is, at what time between 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock will the hands of the clock coincide? So they are asking, coincide is nothing but when they will meet. That's what they are asking here. So one basic thing that you should remember here is, always remember this, minute hand gains 55 minutes on hour hand every hour. So if you know this concept, it will be very easy for solve the sum. I will tell you how. So they are saying 55 minutes gain on every one hour, which is nothing but every 60 minutes. So what is the question? What is the time between 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock? Your minute hand and hour hand will meet. Let's take this as a clock. So we are starting at 3 o'clock. So we want the hour hand and the minute hand to meet. So how do they meet? When this long hand comes to 3 here. So they will meet together. Somewhere near to 15 they will meet. So it has to gain 15 minutes in order for them to meet. So your gaining minute is nothing but 15 minutes here. And when they will meet is nothing but x. As you know just cross multiply it. 55 into x is equal to 60 into 15. 11, 12. If we know the answer is 180 by 11. Let's solve it. 66 is 4. Which is nothing but 16 by 4 by 11 minutes. So, at 16 by 4 by 11 minutes, you can see between 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock, your minute hand and the hour hand will coincide. So, how to solve the sum? So, first we know that 55 minutes gain for every 60 minutes. Then how much minutes we have to gain here for them to meet? 15 minutes they will meet from 3 to 4. So, 15 minutes you will take it here. You have to find the unknown variable here. Once you find the unknown variable, if you find in the solution in case of a fraction, you can fill it as 16 4 by 11. If they are asked in a decimal point, you can just solve it further here and write whatever there in the quotient. So this is how you solve the sum. Let's say solve another sum to understand this concept better. So the next question that they have given is, at what time between 5 and 6 o'clock will the hands of the clock be at right angle? So right and so how, how what are the other ways they can ask? They can ask when when they are in perpendicular or when they are in 90 degrees. These are the various ways in asking this similar question. So let's take this. So at five o'clock. So between five o'clock and six o'clock, when they will be at right angles. Right angle is nothing but it has to be 90 degrees. Let's say when they will be at right angles. When your clock is at 12. So imagine a clock. If you draw a clock, you will know when they will be at right angles. So here 1 and 2, which is nothing but at 5, 10. So 10 minutes gain you have to take. Is this the only way with be at right angles? No. When this long hand passes the minute hand also, they will be at right angle. So when they will be at right angle? So, your will be here, they will be at 40. So, 8 also. So, first is 10 minutes. Next we have is, it's already in 25 minutes, which is nothing but at 5 o'clock it is, plus your 15 minutes. 40 minutes. So, 10 minutes of gain and 40 minutes of gain. So, let's solve in both the cases. So, in last problem, we solved about the minute gain. The same thing we are going to apply it here. So, which is nothing but the minutes is equal to 60 by 55 in your minute gain. So, before the hour and minute hand meet is nothing but 10 minutes gain. So, here 10 minutes of gain you are taking. Which is equal to 120 by 11 minutes. Here, after. After these both coincide and this goes 15 minutes ahead. So, which is nothing but 25 plus 15, 40 minutes. So, 
60 by 55 into 40. So, 8s are 11s are which is equal to 480. So, now we know before 10 minutes is 120 by 11 and after is nothing but 480 by 11 minutes. So, based on the option that they have provided in the question, you can choose either of the one. So, how did we do this? We took the clock. We know it starts from 5 o'clock and ends at 6 o'clock. For the first time for them to be at 90 degrees, your uh, milk hand has to move for 10 minutes, which is nothing but 10 minutes of gain it has to get to get a right angle. Similarly, after crossing each other, it has to go here. So, it has to meet at 8, which is nothing but already it has been in 20, it has to cross this 25 minutes plus another 15 minutes. So, 25 by 15, we take it as 40 minutes here. There is another way of solving this problem if you remember a small formula. Let's solve that. So, the formula is nothing but A is equal to 30H minus 5.5M. So, A is nothing but angle here. So, what is the angle they are asking for? Right angle, which is nothing but 90 degree. So, 90. 30H, when is the hour starting at? It starts at 5 o'clock. So, 30 into 5. Minus minutes is the one that we need to find when they meet. So, leave that. So, we move in here. 150 minus 90 is equal to 60 equal to 5.5 M. So, M is equal to 600 by 55. So, 11, 120. So, we can easily see that if you uh, uh, substitute the values here, you can easily find that 120 by 11. So, if you are a person who doesn't want to remember the gain and gain before and after and all, just remember this formula. A is equal to 30H minus 5.5M. So, A is nothing but the angle that they have asked and H is nothing but your starting time that is 5 and 5.5 minutes. M is nothing but as the time that which they are at right angles. So, you will substitute what are the values we know and we directly get the answer here. Let's solve another sum. So, the next question that they have asked is, at what time between 7 and 8 o'clock will the hands of the clock be in straight line but not together? So, similarly, what does straight line mean? Straight line means it's 180 degree. These are the various ways in which they will ask it. They will either tell straight line, they are not opposite to each other. They, these are various ways they will ask it. So, they will start at 7 o'clock. So, 12, 3, 6, 9. So, what are they asking? So, we are going to solve it in both the ways using the formula and without using the formula. So, to be in straight line, so this has to be near 1. So, it has to gain 5 minutes. So, which is nothing but minutes is equal to 60 by 55 into x. x is nothing but 5 minutes of gain. So, 60 by 55 into 5 which is equal to 60 by 11 minutes. How can we solve it with the formula? A is equal to 30H minus 5.5M. So, let's solve the same problem using the formula. We know the formula is A is equal to 30H minus 5.5M. What is the angle? They have told it's in a straight line. Straight line is nothing but 180D. What is the hour? It's starting at 7 o'clock. So, 30 into 7 is nothing but 210 minus 5.5M is the one that we're going to find. So, Move it here, so which is nothing but 30 is equal to 5.5 m and m is equal to 300 by 55. Let's divide it by 5. So, in this case, you can see in both the cases, we are going to get the same answer. It all depends on what method you want to follow and whichever is easy for you. So, whichever is easy for you, you can use that method and solve it in a very easy way. Today, in clocks, we solve a various problems on given the angle between the clocks whether it's in straight line or right angle or perpendicular whatever so based on two techniques we found one on the gain technique and as well as on the formula technique so either of the techniques can be used based on your convenience in future videos we'll be dealing with some tougher problems in clock so if you're a person who's looking for a job kindly register in our freshersworld.com like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you